Okay, we're ready. All right, so I'm jumping into this uh, demo right here. If you guys, it is being recorded, but if you have any questions, just feel free to stop me and ask or whatever, and I will try to answer them the best that I can, okay? So, and I'm also going to try to go fast because there's a lot of things to cover. One of the things about, you know, our company is that we're not just a technology provider, although we have a very, very sophisticated platform. We've been in the space six plus years. Uh, we've got our own development team that works in our in our offices. I can literally walk out of my office right now and go and talk to our CTO or any one of the numbers of developers that we've got sitting in the in the bullpen out right out here in front of my office. Um, you know, I, we not only have a great platform that, and we have something like more than 50,000 clients now uh, on our platform, uh, thousands and thousands of different kinds of businesses. We work with like the U.S. National Guard. We work with people like Avon and, um, you know, other big, you know, pizza franchisors like uh, Roundtable Pizza on the West Coast, 700 and something locations, right? Though that's a client that I've had for over five years. They send hundreds of thousands of messages a month. The this platform is enterprise level. If a client like Avon or you know um, the U.S. National Guard vet, they vet who they're going to work with. They look at who they're going to work with, and they got to make sure that you know a that they're a tier one provider, that they're actually providing the technology and short codes. Two, they're looking at are they financially stable. Three, they're looking at you know are they going to provide us the right solutions. And you've You've got to you do a lot of things right to be able to make any of that stuff happen, and, and we're able to support clients like that. Okay, so if you if anybody's ever got a question about is this the right kind of partner for us, if you think that you want to have hundreds or maybe even thousands of clients one day, well, then we're the right provider for you for to to run that kind of a business because we can scale, we can support it, we can support your volumes. Uh, the other thing about it is not only are we a great technology provider, but we provide so many other levels of support to help you make more money. There's two ways that we help you make more money. One is we have the absolute best wholesale prices because when you're scaled up to 200 or 300 or 400 clients, you will make more money with us simply because you're spending less money on your wholesale costs because our message pricing simply cannot be beat in the industry. There's nobody out there that can beat us. If you're sending out 5 million messages a month, you are spending thousands of dollars less with us on a monthly basis because our wholesale prices are so much cheaper. It's like, you know, would you rather buy, you know, all your goods from Sam's Club or, you know, CVS, right? <laughs> you're going to spend a lot more buying from CVS than you are from Sam's Club, right? So, you know, you, you obviously want to buy from the bigger entity. Um, the other, the other side of it is, though, we actually provide more solutions that will help you make more money. I'll just give one simple example, and then I'm going to show you the demo. Okay? One simple example is there's a lot of people that you can go and sell a text message platform to. And you can sell mobile coupons or whatever with a lot of different people. But do those people also su supply you with their email side of the platform that is every bit as good as Constant Contact or AWeber or somebody like that and give you the opportunity to take, you know, right now, 70% of the, of the real clients in your area, wherever you're looking, are going to have an email program right now. And they're already going to have a database, uh, it, you know, even if they're one location place, they're going to have a database of 4,000 people in it. And they're going to be sending out their three emails a month. And if you can move them over to you, your platform where they can do all their text messaging and their mobile websites and their email and their social media management all in one platform and you can charge them the same price that they're paying already but they can do it all in one spot and it's every bit as good and you're making four tenths of a penny per text or per email they send out that is an additional forty eight dollars per month net profit that you're making with us that you won't be making with any other provider in the space so just by and and now we can add on a mobile website to it and now we get more setup fee and more monthly fee we can add a tablet landing page to it we can add virtual business cards for all their staff plus we provide you with a lot of education to show you other opportunities to grow your revenues by doing the exact same thing you're already doing one of the most tried and true and tested models ever in the history of man is to take your current customers that are buying from you 
and upsell them a couple other minor things. Well, we teach you how to do that, but ultimately what that will result in is making far more money with us than you would be with somebody else. So let's do a quick tour of the platform real fast. And again, stop me anytime you want and ask any questions. So your dashboard, you know, shows like your account activity, how many accounts you have at any given moment. You know, this is just one of my a few different accounts that I've got, and it shows me having a right around 15,000 accounts right now. Um, this is active mobile sites, and I've got about 5,100. Those are just in like some of my accounts. Real estate listings, V-card activity, that's virtual business cards. You can see right now I've got about 8,100 in my little enterprise. That doesn't include everything that we do. That's just in mine. When I go over here to my accounts, this is where you would click as a reseller to view your restaurant, your retailer, your coffee shop, whatever it is. When you click that button, it shows you your list of accounts, however many you've got. Right now I've got 459 in this particular account. So I go down and look at some of my accounts. Here's Blue Salt Fish Grill, for instance. And here I can go to their credit card and look. And as of right now, they've got a red credit card, meaning they're past, they got a past due balance because this our system tracks the billing for you for each of your clients. Right here, that button would take me into their account. So if they called me, I could support them. I could say, oh, you're having a problem with your mobile site? Well, let me go in and look at it with you. Okay, this is how you fix it and I could click that and assume their account. Let's say that they call me because they want to upgrade to a plan that includes email. Well, I would go in here to edit account. I would click on edit account, and then it would give me the ability to modify their account and change their account status to, uh, susp I could suspend them, or I could delete them, or I could go to their permissions, and I could um, modify their permissions and add email, because you see it's off right now. If I clicked on, it would turn email on for that client. So I can like change their permissions. What do they see, not see? Right now they don't have real estate, but if I click that button, they would now be able to have real estate. They don't have tutorials, church tutorials, but if they were a church, I could turn on church tutorials for them. So I've got the ability to be able to modify their permissions. I can modify their pricing plan by flipping over this card. And instead of $20 a month, I could put them at $50 a month as simply as changing that button right there. And then I can include 1,500 messages instead of the you know, tw the 500 that was initially included. And if I hit save, it would update that. Or if I hit update, it would update them right then. Are you guys seeing my screen okay? You guys hearing me okay? Yeah, I'm hearing you. Okay. All right, great. So, hey, Rena, can Rena hear you? Did you hear him? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. So, that's, you know, editing an account. This would, I would take me into their account so I could use it. This one is going to be, you know, their credit card stuff. So if I click on their credit card, um, I can go ahead and charge them right now from the platform to the credit card that they have on file, whatever amount that the system is telling me it, it, it wants them to charge. Our system will actually calculate the bill for you based on how many messages they send, how many emails they send, et cetera, et cetera, and figure their total bill for you. And you can charge them inside the platform, or you can charge them yourself outside by collecting a check, or whatever the case may be. Now, there is another option here where you could actually go up an organizational level. You see, as a reseller, you can set up clients, clients being restaurants, retailers, the ballet, the zoo, um, American Home Shield is one of my clients. But you could also set up, you could upgrade to a bigger account, and you can set up what we call resellers. This might be a radio station or a newspaper, and they're gonna go out and resell your technology. So we're actually selling to you, you're a middleman. You turn around and wholesale it to um, this uh, Advantage Media Group, which is a radio station group. And then they turn around and they have a platform where they can set up clients underneath them. So under Advantage Media Group, if I click on that, well, they don't have any accounts under them. Um, we'll find one that does. Under Access Mobile Platform, no, no, it doesn't. Accurate Communications, somebody does in here, I'm sure. There we go. Hey Rob, did you, Look at this. Rob, I'm sorry, okay. Rob, did you, did, you, did, you, yeah. did you say for us a hard more question until you finish or interrupt while ago? No, you can go. interrupt. Yeah, so you can see this reseller has clients underneath them. What's your question? Go ahead. Oh, no, it was back where you mentioned, I think you were on, I'm, I'm not sure what type of merchant account you were on, and you mentioned something about, you know, they didn't, they didn't have any real estate. I was wondering what did you mean when you said they didn't have any real estate? 
Um, they didn't have any real estate clients, or they didn't, oh, oh, oh no, I was in I was editing the account and I said that they didn't have um, the real estate module is not on on their account. See right there, it's off. Okay, yeah. All right, right. But I could turn it on for that client by clicking that button. And I haven't shown you guys what the real estate module does yet, but I will. Okay. Okay. All okay. Right, but there's lots of different things. It's like kind of like think about it like this. Inside the platform, look at all these buttons. There's tons of stuff. If you hit tools, there's even more stuff. And you hit reseller content, there's even more stuff underneath there. And you hit any of these buttons, right? So but which ones do you want your clients to see? Okay. You see, I could I can I can sell somebody a V card only account for 15 bucks a month where they just have a vir virtual business card. And they're not going to see email and tutorials and mobile websites and all this stuff. All they're going to see is V cards because that's the only thing I'm going to turn on in their account. Right. Mm -hmm. But you've got the ability to sell accounts with lots of different stuff in them. Right. Understood. Okay. All right. Good. All right. So this, if you wanted the ability, did you guys ever think about wanting to sell to radio stations or other web development companies or people like that? Was that ever a thought? Um, we haven't discussed it, but I'm pretty sure if it's an opportunity, absolutely, one would like to take advantage of it. Right, right. Um, you know, it's something that I've always liked. If you can go to somebody that's a merchant services company, and they've already got 300 salespeople, and you go to them and you say, look, I can give you this technology. You put it in the hands of your 300 salespeople. They go sell it. You could have 2,000 accounts in a very short time, right? Just mm -hmm. what if you're making only $5 an account? That's a good account, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. you can just moderately upcharge them and let them go sell it. So this, so our we have a few different pricing plans, right? But the, to have the ability to set up resellers is what we call an organizational level view, and that is $199 additional per month, on top of whatever the real whatever the regular program that you're running is, right? So our programs run between like 99 and 300 bucks a month, roughly. And that gives you a reseller account. But the ability to set up resellers is an additional $199 a month, which gives you that one extra level. Does that make sense? No. Can you explain that a little bit? So you're saying that... Sure. With sure. The, hold on. You said that with the reseller... Okay, you're going to pull up, pull up the numbers? Yeah, so just, well, I can I can show you the numbers too, but hold on, we'll do that real quick. Okay, just so you know what an organizational level view is, right? Like here's a reseller account, right? This is you, right? And a, a reseller account gives you the ability to create underneath them clients. Here's a restaurant, right? And then. Here's another restaurant or a retailer or whatever, right? And these guys all show up underneath your account and you're charging them and you're managing their account. And when you log in, you click this button, they're all listed down here in clients, right? That's what our okay. any of our normal reseller packages do. But, I get that. I was kind of lost on the pricing when you yeah, said but, uh, additional but you can 199 move, But you can move up to this level which allows you to create resellers underneath you. And the option, this is just an option, this is called an org level view. This gives you the ability to set up other resellers who then can set up other clients underneath them, right? And to be able to do that level, it's an additional 199 on top of whatever pricing package that you are currently looking at and I'll pull up the pricing packages real quick just so we can take a quick glance at those and we'll go into exactly what the pricing means and all of that here in a little bit more detail in a few minutes if you want to where'd it go it just totally disappeared on me that was weird Where'd it go? Why would I need an Acrobat 
Pro trial. Oh my gosh. All right, we'll do it this way. So here's our three plans right here, tier one, tier two, tier three. And the basic difference is that on the tier two or tier three, you get all the training, you get a free mobile website, you get demo apps and all of that. This one starts at $189 a month, the tier two. The tier three is $289 per month. You can upgrade either one of these two with an organizational level view for an additional $199 a month. And I can send you this pricing. I don't want to spend a lot of time on the pricing right this second, but that's just to give you an idea of like the different pricing models, right? Okay. okay. All right. So let's go in here and go to the next piece of the application real quick. And then we can, all right. So we went over like, you know, hey, how do you manage? Rob, 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 yeah. Rob, Rob, Rob. Do you hear me? Yes, I do. All right, so Wayne's call, Wayne just called in and he said that he, he can't hear you. So uh, can you just pause for a second so he can hang up and call back in? Yeah, just I'll hang on. Just go ahead. Hey, Wayne, Are you, you, you want to call back in? Yeah. Right. Hello? I'm here. Did you okay, I'm back. For a minute? Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. I'm going to click a button. Okay, no big deal. All right, so we went over, like, how you manage your clients, that kind of stuff. Let's go over into um, – let's go over and take a look at the next piece here. So when you log in, that's what you see, right, your dashboard. If you go down here into accounts and settings, you know, you can change your settings, you can add users, you know, like whoever is the main person on the account, then you can add Reno as a user or whatever the case may be. Your GUI editor, that's where you change your uh, logo at the top. Um, you know, you'll have your own URL at the top. Hosted signup pages is really cool. Hosted signup pages is like where you can uh, create a, a plan. You guys are going to create your own pricing plan, right? A pricing plan is like you might charge somebody, uh, you know, a hundred dollar setup fee and fifty dollars a month for something, right? right? Mm -hmm. And when you do, uh, you just create that pricing plan inside of our application, and then you create a web page on a mobile website or a landing page. Here's here's an example landing page that is for uh, churches, right? And they read right. all about it and they're like, oh yeah. And here they can start for $29 a month. And it's, you know, three cents per text message and they got 250 text messages included. Or they can do this plan, $79 a month for two cents and the thousand. So they click enroll now. When they click enroll now, it takes them right to a page where they can put in their information and sign up with a credit card. And as soon as they sign up with the credit card, that money goes right into your account and you and it's got your logo at the top and it goes right into your account and their account is instantly created and now they can log in immediately and use it and you didn't even touch them right that's you can build those right here you just go into your dashboard you go into accounts and settings and you hit hosted signup pages and then you can create the pricing plan you want look here's church growing congregation when i hit the edit button this is all I had to do. I had to put in, you know, what do I want the name of it to be? And um, what do I want, uh, where do I want them to go after they sign up? What what URL or success page do I want? Uh, what email address do I want to get notified? What do I want their permissions to be? What do I want their pricing to be? And this one was a $0 setup, $79 per month, included one mobile site, um, included a thousand text messages. And so I just put all that. And then what it does is it creates a URL. And then all I do is link a button off my website to that URL and 
There's the URL and a link to it, and boom, there it is. And people can sign up right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. You guys can build those pages yourself. That's what hosted sign-up pages are for. Okay. okay. All right. Um, let's go in and take a look at mobile sites real quick. So we've been voted one of the top four or five mobile website and app builders that in, let's see, we were in the top, we were, we were ranked number four two years ago, right? And in, in uh, terms of um, having one of the best mobile website and app builders in the space. And I'm just going to pull up an example mobile website right here and show you one that's already, already kind of built out. So you can take with this tool and without knowing anything about the ability to, uh, you know, code or anything else, you can build mobile websites for your clients. We know right now that uh, 65, 70% of the clients that you run into on a daily basis, if you go to their regular website on your mobile phone, it's not responsive. It's not a good, it doesn't look good on your mobile phone. Maybe hard to push buttons, things like that. Well, we also know that over half of their clients are actually going to their site from their mobile phone and they're not getting a good experience. So that is a huge opportunity. You can literally call every single business in your market right now and tell them, hey, I went to your website on my mobile phone and it stinks. I can get you a new one for nine bucks a month. Let me come in and I'll show it to you and, and we'll talk about it. Everyone will go, all right, let's do it. And then you come in there, show them mobile sites and you show them some examples, which I give you tons of examples to show. And then they're looking at it right there on their phone. Then you talk to them about texting. Then you talk to them about moving their email over. And all of a sudden you've got a client that's paying you $150 a month, you know, for the next five years. These mobile site builders are very, very easy to use. No matter what I want to do in here, I can just I can click in the box. I can uh, add pictures really easy just by clicking, you know, add a picture, click and upload, choose the file from your server, click in the picture. It drops, it uploads it to the server. When I hit send it to the server, it does. I hit OK, and there it drops the picture in there. Now I can click that picture. I can center it if I want to. I can double click it and change the size of it. I could link it to something if I wanted to. I can do whatever I want with that picture. That's how easy it is. I can add video. I can type some information in here. I can say, uh, welcome to the Flex's mobile site. Blah 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 and then it's as easy as using Microsoft Word right you just highlight it center it number it bold it you know whatever you want to do to it uh, I can highlight this stuff I can make it bolder I can change the size of it I can change the colors of it um, you know I can change the fonts I can do whatever I want with it and then all I do is save it and as soon as I save it that information immediately goes live on that mobile site I can create tons of different page types I can uh, do SEO options with it. It creates an app icon that's saved on the home screen. Let's go in and look at changing the look and colors of the site real quick. When I go in, I can pick from dozens of different types of templates. You know, you see sushi ones, medical center, ones with buttons on them, ones with various backgrounds, and you can customize any of these to look like how you want to. So once you've selected the template that you want, then you can go in and you can change the colors to be exactly like the colors that you want. There's some predetermined preset ones, or you can go in and adjust them individually. Like say I want to change the menu text color, I can click on that. If I know the hex color code, I can drop it in there. If I don't, I can drag this little picker around to whatever color that I'm looking for, and then start clicking on one so I find the color, and then just hit OK, choose this one. So if I wanted that ugly color mauve, I could do that. But you can customize these mobile sites easily, drop in pictures, videos, social media content, add different kinds of uh, pages. Like for instance, I've got a schedule page on here. There's all kinds of social media plugins that you can do. Look how cool the schedule looks. It can be shown as a calendar. I can create contact pages. They're all click to call, click to text in seconds. Let me show you how to do that real quick because that's pretty sick. So I'm gonna hit create new page. Now I can select from all kinds of different page types. I'm going to pick a contact page. I got to name it first. So I'm going to put contact us. 
and now it's going to add a page, contact us. Now I can put in my business hours. I can put in my address. There we go. Put in a phone number. Put in an SMS number. That would give them a click to call. Put an email address. And then watch this page that it creates. It does it all for you. And it, now this is the contact page on somebody's mobile site. They just click that, it opens up the mapping application on the cell phone. They click that, it calls it. They click that, it texts it. They click that, it opens up the email. They go down to the contact form part of it and they can fill out the contact form. And when they fill out the contact form, it's emailed to this email address. I mean, it's so easy to create just awesome mobile sites. It's unbelievable. So you create this mobile site for somebody. Now you go in, you can publish this site. When you publish it, that gives you the script to put in the header of the regular website. So the person's got a regular website, right? Well, now you just built them a mobile site. Well, if you put this into the header of their regular website. When somebody goes to the regular website from a mobile phone, it'll forward them to this mobile site and now they'll have the really nice mobile version. Does that make sense, guys? Well, since you asked the question, I was gonna hold my question, but. Yeah, go. Um, all right, so for the, the script that you're showing us right now that would go into their existing uh, website, so would that be, would, would it matter what CMS platform they will use? No, it doesn't actually. All right. So, if, for example, if they use, let's say, WordPress. Yep. So they would just, they would just, we would have to ask for permission to go into their back office WordPress. Don't even. Yeah. I mean, most circumstances, you wouldn't even do it for them. And if they do want you to do it for them, you better charge them for it. But you know. Yeah, of course. So my question yeah. is, so you would take this and you will put this into the the header of their WordPress. This would allow the mobile website just to be created from there. This would allow for the mo when somebody accessed their regular website from their mobile phone, it would forward them to oh, you to this. So, so my question is, all right. So here's a better way of asking. So the script that you just showed us, do we take this script information and we um, include it into their WordPress? That script you would put into the header of their WordPress site, yes. Okay, got it. All right, and then my second question is, um, with this, they would they have to would they have to create a new URL or domain name for uh, for a mobile site, or just it just function with their? Uh, they wouldn't have to. They would not have to, but they could. And if they like created m dot their company name dot com. Mm -hmm. They could forward that to this right here, and then it okay. would show up as their company name, right? I see the DNS redirection. Okay, gotcha. Yep, absolutely. So it's all set up to do it. Generate the QR code, obviously. So I'm going to copy that link right there of that, uh, and I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to go into the text platform real quick, and I'm going to build a mobile coupon real fast and just show you an example. So. I jumped into my menu. I went over to my marketing side of the platform. The marketing platform is the text message side. Um, when the text message side has a lot of different features. You can do things like obviously send a message, a blast out to a big database of people. You can you can you can schedule out like for Friday night at 10 o'clock at night because I'm not going to be by a computer. I can schedule out my Facebook message that I want to go out there or my Twitter. I can create different keywords, voting, polling, autoresponders, trivia, text to win. But a lot of people really like our coupons, so I'm going to show you how to do a keyword coupon real quick. So I go in and hit create. I type in, you know, whatever uh, name of the business is. You know, this is whatever pizza, right? And then I type in the uh, keyword. Now the keyword is what someone would text on a 
like on a on a sign like if they saw a sign somewhere that said um i hate that this thing doesn't scroll very well they see a sign like this one you know on a outdoor display it says text victory to the phone number 72727 or they see it on a television spot or something like that when they text in that 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 would be the keyword that they would uh, text in to whatever short code that you're assigned now in a tier one you only get one short code on a tier two you have two short codes on a tier three you have three sh different short codes you can use the short code in this account is 63975 so if we texted what have pizza to 63975 we would get back whatever reply message I type in here so let's just call it John's pizza for this example right click here for your free medium pizza and then there's a coupon URL which is going to take them to this URL with the redeem button I'm going to customize it here in a second watch for more deals up to four per month reply help for help or stop to end so we put the disclaimer on there message number two while you are here check out our menu on our mobile site and save our app to your home screen click and now I can drop in the URL to their mobile site and then I send it right to their phone right there I'm using the URL shortener that's built in it shortens the URL drops it right into the message okay now I'm going to go down and make this coupon look like how I want it to look so I go down I can select you know whatever color that I want the background to be we'll just make it gray choose the file that I want let's say this is the uh, uh, oh that might be too big of a file oh it's good good um, promotion That's description good. you know save oh, what was it for yeah so that I noticed you just went into um, a picture gallery and you just loaded a picture that you wanted to load is this your is this the well we have control of the picture so we can have a design and create a certain image and then we can take that yeah that was just that was just in a in a gallery on my computer, so you can have whatever whatever you want. Gotcha. All right. So, um, uh, free medium pizza next visit with purchase of a large pizza Hold or whatever. I got you. Okay. Terms and conditions page, you say not valid with other offers. Business address, you put in, you know, whatever business address you want to and phone number. That creates a contact page. You put in a coupon code, whatever you want. Okay. Now I'm going to hit save on here. And that will create that mobile coupon that we just created, which was what of pizza. Now watch this. And we could text what of pizza or whatever. What, what was it? It was what of... Um, yeah, what up pizza? We can text what up pizza to 63975 when we get back that mobile coupon and that mobile website right to our phone. But instead, let's go over and take a quick look at one of our tools, which is a kiosk creator. Now, a kiosk creator is for when you want to build somebody a tablet landing page so that they can have a tablet sitting right on their counter at their event or on their counter at their service desk, or maybe with their hostess that is walking the people to the table. And as they're walking the people to the table, they're carrying a the tablet and they say, would you like a coupon for next visit? And they go, sure, I'd love one. And then you say, uh, great, uh, just type your mobile number here and it'll send you a coupon right to your phone. So this tablet landing page, they type their mobile number in, instantly they get a text message with that coupon, right? So let's build one of those real fast, and you can see how that works. It's really, really awesome when you're doing something like, you know, a point-of-sale campaign, and it builds databases really fast. I've worked with retailers that have somebody, grocers even, that have somebody standing at the door, and everybody that walks in, they say, hey, would you like a coupon? 
Everybody goes, sure. And they say, just type your mobile number in, we'll send it right to your phone. Well, instead of building, you know, five people a day into the database, they're building 50 people a day into the database. Well, that makes you more money because if they're building 50 people per day, they've got 15 locations, you go 160 days, they've already got 120,000 people in their database. If they're sending out three messages a month to that database, that's 360,000 messages. And if you're making nine-tenths of a penny per message or about a penny per message, that account is worth $3,200 of net profit per month to you or 38,000 per year. That's a great account. And that's only a 12 location account, right? That's building a big database fast. How do you build, how do you do that? This is what a, this is whatever pizza, and our keyword was whatever pizza, and that's it. We do that. Now this is what it's going to look like. We're going to make put what it looks like right here. We're going to create it, and so we go in here, upload the logo that we want, and that puts a logo at the top. Now we can go down and we can change what the offer font color looks like, what the background color looks like on it. We can use our cool color picker here and make, you know, whatever cool color that we want the background to look like. And you can see it changes it up here. We can go down and change what the uh, offer actually says by typing in here. So we say, you know, free medium pizza next visit. Type your mobile number in below. And then you can see it updates it on the kiosk. There's what I just typed in. Now I can change the size of it. I can make it bigger if I want to, and I can bold it if I want to. And now I just made that bigger. And so now I've created this tablet. Now watch this. I save it. Once that's saved, then I go over here, search for it. There it is, whatever pizza. Grab that URL, send that to my tablet or my restaurant owner's tablet. They open it up on their tablet. And obviously, this looks better on a tablet than it does on a desktop computer, right? So if I shrink it down to like a size of a tablet, that's what it looks like. Somebody walks up. They're holding the tablet up to them. They say, hey, just type your mobile number in. You'll get a free medium pizza. They're like, cool. And they type their mobile number in. What's your mobile number? 410. 999-7430. And they hit submit. It says, thanks. You'll be receiving a text shortly. And the next person walks up, and they're like, hey, do you want a coupon? And they're like, sure. 424. 914-424? Uh-huh. Uh, 5045. Okay. There we go. So you guys will get two text messages, those two text messages that I just sent you. And you know that, that's how we built the kiosk. So if you click that link in there, that link takes you to the mobile coupon. I'm going to show you the. Let's look. Take a look at the mobile coupon real quick. So that first text message you received is like a. Um, looks like. You got the first text message looks like this. It says free medium pizza next visit, and it's got a link, right? When you click that link, it takes you to that mobile coupon that I built that's got the logo on it and says free medium pizza, has a terms and conditions page, has a share page, has a contact page. Are you looking at it? Yeah. You can hit redeem on it and click OK, and it will redeem that coupon right off of right off of your phone. You could not go back and use that coupon again. You couldn't text in and get that coupon again. If you tried again, it would say, sorry, you already used this coupon, right? That's how the mobile coupons work. These are awesome. These are like your own being able to give a retailer or a restaurant or a car wash the ability to create their own coupons. It's actually one of the techniques that we use to get new business. We will call on a business 
um, and tell them, hey, have you ever thought about doing Groupon? And they're like, yeah, but Groupon's expensive, and there's a big waiting list, and you know, plus I sell fifty dollars of food for twenty five bucks, and I don't even need get all my twenty five bucks. I get like fifteen, you know, dollars out of that. And you're like, what if you could do your own Groupon? What if you could just send out to your big databases your own offer of twenty dollars of food for ten dollars, and then you give them this one time redemption button. And they come in and they show the coupon, they redeem it, but instead of spending ten dollars, you know they're going to spend forty five dollars with you, and then you just made a bunch of extra money that you otherwise wouldn't have made. We call that top line revenue. You see, if I can call on a business right now and I can tell this one location well for for numbers wise let's well yeah, we'll just do one location. a guy with one location. I can tell him, "Look, John, I can build you a database." of 3,500 people that buy from you right now. And I can get those 3,500 people to come in and buy from you two extra times over the course of this year. Make two extra visits. And the two, that's 7,000 additional transactions over the course of a year, extra that you otherwise wouldn't have had. Now your average transaction, John, I would guess, you know, you're a casual dining place or whatever, bar and grill, I guess your average transaction is about 35 bucks. Well, 7,000 times 35 bucks is $245,000. That's a quarter of a million dollars of extra revenue this year. That's now that's gross, that's gross, but you've already paid your lights, you've already paid your rent, you've already paid your employees. This is top line revenue, this is increased revenue. The only thing that comes out of this 245,000 is what? That's Would a beauty. Well, the only, no, the only thing that comes out of 245000 is your cost of goods sold, whatever yeah, your food okay. cost was, right? So let's even say your food cost is 65%. You still put $159,000 of cash in your pocket over the course of this year just from doing a little bit of what we call loyalty marketing. That's a lot of extra money, right? So when... When you start talking to people about numbers like that, that's some of the techniques that we teach in our mobile marketing certification courses and things like that. You can really start uh, getting people excited about it. When you just walk in and tell somebody, hey, do you want to do some mobile coupons? Hey, do you want to do texting? Hey, they're like, ah, blah, 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 blah. I've heard this a million times. No thanks, I'm busy. But when you call somebody and say, look, I can put a quarter of a million dollars of top line revenue increase in just by doing a simple loyalty technique and I can show it to you right now over the phone. What's your mobile number? I'm gonna send it right to your phone. I'll show you what it looks like. Dude, that gets business. Are you guys with me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, I was off for a minute. I had to dial back in, but I'm back. Okay. Are you there, Reno? Uh, yeah. Okay. Reno, does that sound good? Yep. Okay. All right, good. So the second text message, what the heck? I keep pushing the wrong button there. The second text message there, if you click it, if you go back to that, those text messages that I sent you, that yeah. second text message takes you to that mobile website that I sent you or that we just were working on and we built and we did that one page, remember? And so now you're talking to that person, you showed them the mobile coupons, now you're showing them mobile websites. And, you know, this could be one that you built specifically for them. Like if you got a meeting with somebody that's got 15 locations, you better believe you're going to build them a specific mobile site and a specific, you know, mobile coupon that takes 10 minutes to build your demo before you go to the meeting and a tablet landing page and you walk in there and go, hey, type your mobile number in this tablet. And it's got their logo on it and it's got their offer on it and it links right to their mobile site. That will sell them right there. You guys know what I mean? Absolutely. And you can build those demos as quick as I did there. So, you know, it's it's not like it's extremely challenging. You jump into the platform once you know how to use it. You fly through, you know, you build a, you go to the marketing platform, you build a keyword campaign, you go to the uh, mobile website, you build a mobile website, you go to the kiosk, you build a kiosk, and boom, you're done. It takes about an hour to build a good mobile website. But, you know, I don't do that for every meeting, but sometimes I do. Then when people go in and they have created their mobile coupons or sent out a mobile coupon to a whole bunch of people. Then it shows up in the reporting, which is sortable by date. So I can go in here, find a coupon, 
that I built, and I can see how many people opted into it every single day. And I can see how many people redeemed the coupon every single day. And I can see where they're at in the world. And I can download the report on uh, the CSV report that will show me timestamps and show me what mobile numbers opted in and all that kind of stuff. So you, we've got awesome, awesome reporting and on all of the different kinds of campaigns that you can do, all the kinds of text message campaigns. And I won't go into too much more detail about the marketing platform because we're already running a little bit longer than what I had. And I've got, uh, I've got somewhere I've got to be, but look, we're, we still got some more to cover. So I'm going to fly here. All right. So we went in, we talked about mobile websites, the different colors, the marketing platform, building a kiosk. We've got to go in and talk about the real estate module and virtual business cards real quick. So additional parts of the tools here, there's a collateral creator. A collateral creator allows you to build, like say you want to build a poster for somebody for a fine dining restaurant. You can go in, build a poster real quick in just a few minutes, changing the colors out to whatever you know color makes sense, changing the words out, and then it creates a sign. But I don't recommend creating signs for people, so we don't really use the collateral creator very often anymore. Mainly what we do is work with people on using their tablet landing pages to build databases because it works better. But it is here for you to use if you wanted to build that. There is a real estate module. A real estate module allows you to be able to put in listings so that people can um, text in from a yard sign. So have you ever seen somewhere where you're driving by and there is a picture of um, there is, I'll show you an example real quick. Like you drive by a house and it says, text home 225 to 72727. You ever seen something like that? Yeah. And then when the people text in, they instantly get a text message back that links to information about their, about that particular listing. So they text in, let me get to the right one. Yeah, right there. And now they're looking at, you know, the the exact listing, they're looking at the prices and the pictures and, you know, has a mortgage calculator and a map and all that kind of stuff. And of course, those people go in a database, which allows the realtor to send out future messages to people about new homes they list and that price range and that kind of stuff. The, um, you can build that real easily inside of our system. So it creates those really cool mobile sites when you just put in the information for the realtor, upload their picture, upload their logo, um, upload their house pictures, or you can just link it directly to MLS. Not as many people use the real estate platform anymore because a lot of the brokerages have a really good uh, real estate mobile site now, but everybody uses the vCard Builder. The vCard Builder is absolutely sick because you're a V and you guys will have one of these on your phone tomorrow whenever you sign up or whenever that's going to be, okay? The virtual business card is so easy to use. All you do is, you know, let's say that you want to you guys just signed up a new sales rep. You go in, hit create new V card. You open it up, you type in his name and your company name and his phone number and his email address and you update it. And then you drop in your logo and you drop in your app icon. And then that's it, basically, and you hit save. And when you do, it creates a virtual business card app that you can then send right to the person's phone and it creates an app on their phone. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like real quick. Here's an example. This is like how yours will work, the one that we give you, because we build this, we build yours for you because they're special. So tomorrow you guys sign up. You have a boarding call with our team immediately, first day or by the second day. During that call, they'll build your virtual business card app. They'll put your logo on an icon right on your phone. Now you're standing there talking to somebody at a bar, at a restaurant, at a family reunion, whatever it is. And while you're talking to them, you say, hey, uh, you know, they're like, yeah, I might be interested in mobile marketing. You're like, cool. Well, let me give you my card. And they're like, okay. And so you hit the app on your phone. This is on your phone. You hit it. It loads your virtual business card page. You say, here, just type your mobile number right there in that form. When they type their mobile number into your phone, you get a text message with their mobile phone number. So imagine you've been spending three months trying to get a hold of this one guy. 
that owns 19 locations of a car wash. And you finally get a hold of him, and you're talking to him. But he's kind of blowing you off. But he's, in, he's kind of interested, but he's kind of not, and he's kind of blowing you off. And you're like, well, can I at least give you my card? And you're like, and he's like, sure. And you say, we use digital business cards. They're environmentally friendly. You know, we're trying to save the environment, not like these car washes do. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, and then you say, just, uh, just type your mobile number in right there, and you'll get my information sent right to your phone. He types his mobile phone number in your phone. Well, you get a text message with his mobile phone number. So now you can save it. Now you don't have to go through his gatekeeper next time. Right? This is great for face-to-face sales. I use this at conventions. I'll be talking to a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and I'll hand him a virtual business card, and I've got his freaking cell phone number. I don't have to call his secretary. I don't have to email him to get an appointment. I call him, and if I don't get him on the phone, I text him, and he responds to me. I mean, people always respond to their text messages. It's ridiculous. That may be how I got you guys to respond to me. I don't know. So, so. He types his mobile phone number. I get a text message with his mobile phone number, plus he goes in my database. Now, he gets two text messages on his phone. The first text message he gets is your name, your company name, your phone number, your email address, and then a link. Now you're standing there talking to him, and you're like, okay, yeah, you just got my information on your phone? Cool. Click that first link. Well, he clicks that link, and it takes him right to a mobile site. We give you this mobile site. You get a good one in a tier two package. You get an even better one in a tier three package. He is looking at this mobile site, and it's got all kinds of stuff about text message marketing. And he clicks on services, and it's showing text marketing and appointment reminders, mobile coupons, and it's got write-ups and all that stuff. And now you've got instant credibility. Plus, you've extended the conversation. Now you're like, he's like looking at it. He's like, oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, you're like, yeah, go to the mobile coupons. Yeah, it's really cool stuff. It's got, of course, it's got your contact page on it. It will even link directly to whatever packages you're trying to sell. So now right there on this phone, he can click the Buy Now button, or you can click which package he wants, click the Buy Now button, and it takes him right to that hosted sign-up page where he can fill out his information and his credit card information and accept the terms and conditions, and boom, he just signed up right from his phone, right in front of you. The second text message that he gets is actually a VCF file, which... Uh, saves your information right into his phone. So that's pretty cool. But the other special part of your virtual business card, because you're one of our partners, is this demo apps button at the bottom. You see, you're standing there talking to somebody, or you're on the phone with somebody, and you're like, hey, let me, I'll just gonna, I'm gonna send you a quick coupon. You know, we're talking about Groupons and whatever, you can create your own Groupons. Well, let me send you one real quick. I'll send it right to your phone just so you can see what it looks like. And, it, and you hit your demo app button. When you hit your demo app button on your own virtual business card on your own phone, it takes you to this page that has like 30 different demos on it. Amusement parks, boutique, casual dining, coffee shop, clubs, manufacturers, whatever, flower shops, grocers, fine dining. You pick which, which industry you want to send the guy the example of because, you know, you're talking to an express oil change guy. Well, you hit the express oil change button. It loads that page. You type in his mobile number, instantly he gets two text messages with two demos on it. You didn't even have to build these. We built these for you. And now you tell him, click that first link. And when he clicks that first link, it takes him to a mobile coupon for Express Oil Change. Or if it's Grocer that you're talking to, then it shows him a Grocer example, right? And now you tell him, click the Redeem button. You're talking to him about how he can send out his own Groupons. And then you're talking to him about revenues. And you're saying, look, John, you got five locations. You know, we can build 25 people a day into your database. 160 days later, we can have 20,000 people in that database. You know, if we get 20,000 people to buy from you two extra times this year, times your average transaction there at the grocery store, $45, that's $1.8 million of top-line revenue that we just increased, that we just put in the books. Now, we can help you with that, plus a bunch of other stuff, plus some lead generation campaigns to help you bring in new business, steal some of the business from the competition. We might be talking about $2 million of increased revenue or more just by bringing in some new customers and getting your current customers to stop in just a couple extra times this year. Of course, he's going to talk to you. I mean, nobody talks like that. You're Now you're talking like a business consultant. He's going to buy from you. So... You know, then you're showing them the mobile websites, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that virtual business card creator is right here in the system. What this gives you 
is another opportunity to sell. It's just a whole other vertical. Think, think who you could sell a virtual business card to. Do you know who I was on the phone with earlier today, which is why this PowerPoint was pulled up? I was on the phone with uh, an automotive dealership group that has 55 locations. And you know what I was talking to them about? I was talking to them about how at when their uh, finance department is selling a new car to these people, that he has them type their mobile number in uh, to get some service reminders and things like that. And then they get service reminders, and then those people start coming in and using the service department at the dealership, and that's where they make a lot of money. And then I told him, you have it in your service department. And everybody that comes in, they type their mobile number in to get a $10 off coupon for next time. And now you start remarketing to those people and they get them in for oil changes. But the another thing that I told them was, you need to be using virtual business cards, the virtual business card apps. Virtual business card apps are sick for dealerships. But who else could use it? I mean, you're talking about insurance agents, real estate agents. This just gives you a whole nother opportunity or a whole nother group of people to sell. And then you just go and create them a new account, sell them a virtual business card, charge them 10 bucks a month, and it's still profitable for you. We just opened the doors for you to be able to sell a lot of different kinds of people besides just going to restaurants like everybody else is, right? I told you that most businesses today want or already have email databases. Well, our email system is absolutely incredible. You can uh, go into, oops, hold on a second, let me get back in here. You can, you know, from the same application, they click the email section, it opens up a new tab. The email section is is very big. It, like I said, it's, uh, hold on real quick, guys. I'm sorry. Can you guys hold for just a second? Yep. Sure. Okay. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. All right guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Welcome back, cool. Rob. <laughs> uh so okay. So in the emails, in the email section, there is like here's an example of an email that we sent out. You're actually looking at my account right now. Um there is all of our emails are responsive. You know, they look good on a desktop, but they also look good on a mobile phone, right? It changes how they look. So the email looks good on either, you know, a desktop computer or a mobile phone. And when somebody wants to create a new one, the very first time they create it is, you know, takes the longest because they got to kind of build out the template they want. But they go in and they name it, you know, like Johnson, whatever the name of their company is or whatever, and they select their email type. And then they go in, and from here, we'll select which kind of a layout that do they want. Do they want a one column, a three column, let's say a two column. So we select this kind. Yep, that's what it's going to look like. Okay, we're good. Let's use that one. So we hit select. Now we go in and set the settings up, which, you know, is just whatever the subject line is. Happy Tuesday. And it's all white labeled, right? You guys don't see Avid Mobile or any of our information. Then they select, you know, do they want a, you know, predetermined template of a certain kind? Um, you can select that what, like what you want the theme to look like, whatever kind of colors. Um, and then let's see, let me pick a, not that one. Let me pick a red one here. Let's go with that one. Then it changes all around. But then I can go and customize it down to the exact color code that I want for each individual section header or whatever. And then once I'm done with the theme builder and I got it looking, I got the colors exactly how I want, I can customize the email template to look exactly how I want. Let's say I want a coupon section in here. Well, I just grab the coupon section and drag it in here and then it builds that coupon section right in there. And now I change everything that I want just with the little WYSIWYG editor. So I hit edit the copy and I say, 
Um, happy Tuesday from us here at, you know, wherever. Okay. And then we highlight it, bold it, change the size of it, whatever. And then it changes it inside the email copy. I want to change the picture in here to something else. So I go in here, select the image, upload the image to whatever I, whatever image I want. I've already got images uploaded to my gallery, so I'll just select one of those. And let's say I want to use this image. That's a pretty image. That was when we set up for our Liberty Memorial. And I hit close. There it is. Now the image is in there. But you could use whatever image you want, right? Then I go in and change some more copy. And then once I'm done, I've got the email just how I want. Now I can go and save and schedule it, schedule out for the exact time I want. Um, we've got a really great IP bank. We've got some proprietary technology that ranks everybody's emails and how many spam complaints they get and things like that. And then um, uh, puts them into different IP blocks. So what t typically happens is our responsible customers that send out the best emails, they get the best open rates. When they move over to us, we get them in more inboxes because our IP addresses are very clean. So when our emails go out, everybody, all the email clients, they see us as good emails coming and they and we get higher open rates. You look at some of these emails, 1700 uh, opens, 96 bounces, 42 clicks. That's, you know, that's, it's really nice stuff. 248, 1534. So it's got really great analytics. You can go through and look at, you know, some of our, you know, if we've got any complaints, if we've got any opt outs or, you know, that kind of stuff. So you can, you can look at some really, really detailed stuff in regards to email analytics. Um, you can go to, there's all kinds of other settings and other things that we could go into. You wouldn't need to learn this whole system right away. The main thing is to have the confidence that you can go in, take somebody that's already got a existing database and tell them, hey, you can move that email database over. Now you can manage your texting, your email, your social media, your mobile websites, all of it inside the same application. And look right on your dashboard and see exactly what's going on and you know and we'll help you manage it and you can build kiosks and everything else there is right and how is how is the back office support for for your resellers uh, uh rob yeah so um obviously there's a ticket section so you can open up tickets just click tickets open up a new ticket if you've got a problem you can email support you can call support uh they man the lines during normal business hours monday through friday but there's also, you know, really great tutorials. So everything in the system, you know, there is uh, videos that you can watch on demand that tell you how to build, you know, your virtual business cards or, you know, answer commonly asked questions. So you can go to tutorials and you can watch how to build a mobile coupon or how to set up a hosted payment page or how to create a keyword or how to create whatever, right? Those are all, all those tutorials are in here. The main thing th is really inside the reseller content though. There's some great stuff in here and I kind of showed you some of this earlier. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, in each of these sections getting started, there's, oh, uh, actually you would be getting, a, uh, oops. So reseller content is for, so you'd go to company setup videos. Inside company setup videos, you know, there's a video on everything. New account, getting set up quickly. Setting up your clients and billing. How to create pricing for different clients. Here's 33 minutes on how to create pricing for a single location place. Or how do you do it for a realtor? Or how do you do it when somebody's got 50 locations or 100 locations, right? Um, how to uh, create your agreements. How to do hosted sign-up pages so that you can sign people up right from a website. Um, compliance training, all kinds of stuff in here to really teach you how to, you know, get your business started. But the real value comes in the next couple sections when you get into mobile marketing and sales training videos. This is all part of our mobile marketing certification courses. There's 14 videos that go step by step in teaching how is mo how does mobile communication really work in the real world? How do you 45 minutes here on point of sale? How do you create point of sale campaigns for all different kinds of industries? 
how do you do online integration in different places? How do you do lead generation and integrate with broadcast media? Each of these come with an accompanying worksheet. You click the worksheet and it downloads a questionnaire that you fill out as you're watching the videos. And when you turn this, all the questionnaires in for all the different videos, we actually give you a mobile marketing certification. We're the only people in the industry that provide one. And uh, this stuff is not like, how do you build a keyword campaign? This is all real training from real world experience and selling to you know national, national or international companies. Um, the sales training videos are things like you know the model to success, appointment settings, steps to the sale. Um, this is not like generic stuff. This is like kind of the stuff that I was teaching you, like how do you do those math equations and stuff like that. Incentivize social sharing. Um, then you get down into what a really cool section, which is in our sales training videos. In here, you can actually watch live presentations to, uh, oh, this one, it's this one right here, sales training. In this one, you can actually watch live presentations to like Lululemon, a national retailer. You can see what uh, Mr. Hero, a national chain of uh, sandwich shop places, right? Um, Huntington Learning Centers. You can actually watch live presentations to, you know, CEOs of big companies and see what they're, you know, see how it really works. Jeunesse is a network marketing company. You can see what that one's like, right? So Piggly Wiggly, a grocery store. So there's a lot, a lot of, you know, uh, a lot of training in here that will, that will be, I know would be beneficial for you guys if you uh, took the time to, you know, actually watch it. Um, let's see, finally, what did I want to show? Oh, there's PowerPoints in here. So uh, with about every different industry. Um, so if you needed a PowerPoint real quick to run and talk to somebody and say, hey, you know, what is, uh, oh, all of a sudden my mouse quit working. I don't know what I did wrong here. Let me reload this page. That'll do it. There we go. I think it's back. So the there's a section on on PowerPoints. There is a uh, this got probably 50 different types of PowerPoints in there. There is, and I think that was pretty much it. You guys want to see talk pricing some more? Yeah, let's let's look at the pricing structure. Okay, let me go back here. What 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 percentage of your business? So so, uh, Rob, you you're actually um even though you you uh you actually also are able to to sell the the business as well and not just train uh, uh new new potential uh, um, resellers, right? Me personally? Yes. Are yeah, you guys I, sell? You guys I, actually, sell I actually have just in the last week started mm -hmm. taking on a few more. We've had such an overload of clients uh, mm -hmm. or potential partners like you mm -hmm. that I have actually taken on a few of, of these. My main job is the enterprise level sales. So I'm, I mainly spend the majority of my day working on selling to Avon or national big companies, right? But um, just in the last week, or I guess since I could actually show you our, you know, our, our spreadsheets, but just in the last uh, maybe five days, I have started taking just few partner uh, income leads. And so that's why you guys are talking to me today. <laughs> Okay, okay. So the majority of what I do is sell the enterprise level companies, big companies. Okay. And uh, I guess most of your most of your sales is done through the telephone, right? Yeah, it's done just like this: talking to people on the phone, doing a quick screen share, uh, that kind of stuff. But I fly out all over the country and meet with companies when it, you know, when I have to. Okay. Um, we don't do much locally as far as like selling to local businesses. Although we've got people inside, you know, in our town that use us, obviously we've got people in every city that use our company 
um, sometimes through resellers, but, you know, uh, but yeah, we're not in person selling all that often. Okay. So you so pretty much your, your white label there are, we're all, will be competing against you as well. Well, not really because, you know, some of the companies out there say, first of all, you got to think about the mobile marketing space, right? Mobile marketing, I can very closely compare it to merchant services. Merchant services, there are companies that have emerged that are the like Heartland payment systems of the world that have thousands of representatives and they have hundreds of thousands of clients. And then there are the other extreme are single individual independent sales operators. We call them ISOs, independent sales organizations. And that one guy may have 50 clients that are, actually I know one guy personally, he has 15 clients, 15, that's it. And he sells merchant services and that's his only job. And the 15 clients that he has are mega churches and they do enough volume that he makes enough money off them to live, right? Mm -hmm. Mobile marketing is like that. There is room for 30 mobile marketing companies in every city. Some of them will have teams of 10 or 20 or 50 people. Some of them will have national sales organizations. Others will be boutique marketing companies that have maybe 50 or 100 or 200 clients is all. Mm -hmm. Others may service only 15, right? Mm -hmm. The odds that you will be outselling to somebody and then that we're trying to sell to at the exact same time mm -hmm. is, is nil. There's 100,000 businesses just in the town that you live. Right. I mean, we're not, you know, we're not like we don't have 20,000 reps out there all over the place. You're more likely to be competing against a reseller of some other company than competing with our company directly. Gotcha. However, that being said, I help our partners personally. I do a couple presentations a week for our clients, our partners like you mm -hmm. that have a company underneath us. You get an opportunity. You get in front of somebody that's got 55 locations, 150, mm -hmm. 250, mm -hmm. you're going to want to bring me into it. Right. That's, want... that's the next question I wanted to ask yeah. you. How, 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 how much of a help will we get as a, because this is, this is you know, relatively a, a new, uh, new venture for us. Sure. Uh, sure. And so it takes, and it takes a while to get really going. I mean, you can go out and sell accounts in the first, you know, in the first month. You're going to be able to go out, watch trainings, go through our boarding process, get your virtual business card, get all those demos on your phone, which will absolutely help you. And you can go out and start closing business like in the first week. But mm -hmm. would you feel comfortable pitching somebody that's got 200 locations? Probably not. No, I wouldn't want to take the chance. Yeah, yeah, no. But you call me and mm -hmm. email me and we set up a time that works for everybody. And I show up to the meeting with a fully prepared deck, with demos, with everything. And I'll, of course I show it to you beforehand, right? Mm -hmm. And we work out pricing. And I'll go in and show show them and pitch it and do everything as a member of your company, as Rob Thompson, your VP of business strategy, right? And how are you, how are you compensated in those situations? Yeah, I'm helping you get a 200 a client that's gonna do a million messages a month. And mm -hmm. I'm your wholesaler. That's how I get mm -hmm. compensated. Okay. No, I'm talking about you in that regard. Yeah, no, I'm, I get compensated by you closing the client. Because if you close a client that is going you. to do a bunch of messages, then I make money, don't I? Because I'm the wholesaler. I want you to be successful. If you're successful, I'm successful. So that's gotcha. and and I love the hunt, man. I tell you, I love sales. You can you can hear that by listening to me. Yeah, it makes a lot. Yeah. So Rob, it's funny that you mentioned uh, merchant processing. I was yeah, that's business. A, that's his background. Processing. We we actually have we in line now to to get our own ISO. So, oh yeah, nice. So the 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 plan is to pretty much use this as a uh, a second line of service to offer our existing um, 400 clients that we work with. So um, and and of, of our portfolio, we have a couple of um, companies that we work with that have. 200 uh, software provider, for example, that have like 200 floral shops up and down on the East Coast, and pitching them, having you on board would definitely <laughs> be a uh, 
be an asset to kind of communicate this uh, this line of service that they can have their people benefit from. Yeah, well, no doubt. Um, I would be more than happy to, I mean, you know, you guys get signed up with us day one, call them day two, and, uh, you know, set up a meeting and I'll be there. Okay. Uh, I, I know that you were getting ready to go on to the pricing piece. I had a few questions that I jot that I had to take down and uh, yeah. as you gave your presentation. So I, I guess we'll let you go ahead, let, allow you to go through the pricing, and then uh, I have a few questions for you. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, the pricing is, you know, basically a Tier 1 doesn't come with any of the training. It's a much higher per client cost. Uh, much higher per message rate, you know, um, doesn't come with the mobile websites, doesn't come with the demo apps, you know, that have those demos on it of all different kinds of industries. This is really for people that just either aren't committed or don't think they'll ever close a client or I don't know, you know, but um, most people go with the tier two or tier three package. You've got a lower per, co per client cost, right? You've got a uh, much lower, much more included messages, much lower rate per text message. And the people that are really serious obviously go with a tier three because text messaging rates start at a penny and go down to as low as four tenths of a penny. And you think and about it. we could pay based on the rates that... that, that yeah, because, because you're retailing, right? So you might be charging, like, let me do a quick scenario of what you might charge, right? Like retail. And then you can kind of see how you make money. So... Uh, actually, I think I've got it on here. Let me go. Okay. Um, this is probably the easiest way. Okay. So here's like some example packages, right? You could go and sell these packages. We give you a sheet that looks kind of like this. $99 setup fee, get somebody, you know, $39 a month includes 500 text messages four and a half cents per text message over, right? Um, you go out and sell this package. Well, the $100 setup fee is junk fee. That's to pay commissions and whatever else, right? $39 a month includes their 500 messages. How much money do you make on this? Well, if they, if they buy it, you make that $100, that's net profit, that $39 per month. Well, if you're at a tier three, you pay $3.50 for the client, and we charge you for the messages, right? The messages, uh, we're charging you starting out at a penny. But if you're doing, you, you know, if you had 100 clients, you'd already be down to paying like eight or six tenths of a penny, much less than a penny. Let's say that that person sends 400 messages out of the, out of the 500 included. Well, you've got your $3.50 client fee, $4 for the text messages, $750 of total cost, your net profit first month would be $131.50. If they sent 400 messages perpetually, your total cost would be $7.50 per month, where your retail charge, you're charging $39 minus $750, $31, your net profit is running 70%. Your cost of goods sold is very inexpensive for that client, right? But nobody uses 400 text messages a month. Because I've shown you the examples, somebody comes in, they sign up for a package, even if they sign up for this $39 a month package with 500 messages, they start building 25 people a day into their database, 160 days later they got 4,000 people in their database, and if they're sending out three messages a month, they're sending out 12,000 messages a month. Well, they've got to move to a higher plan to be able to uh, get a decent rate, right? That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, that, I didn't count selling mobile websites in there, but you sell a mobile website. The cost is $4 a month. You're charging somebody $12 a month or $15 a month to host it. I don't care what you charge to set it up. You can charge $300 and $700 for a nice one and then throw it in for free if they do merchant services with you. Or... What I do a lot of times in merchant services companies or what I suggest is calling on businesses and going, hey, here's a really great mobile, you know, uh, we can really increase your revenues. Here's how much we can increase your revenues. Here's how it works. 
normally it's a hundred dollar setup fee plus three hundred dollar setup fee for your mobile website that's four hundred dollars plus your fifty bucks a month to run the program but today only I can waive the setup fee on your mobile site completely that's three hundred dollars if you give us your last two months of merchant statements and let us see if we can save you money on your merchant, save, uh, merchant services as well. So people sell the mobile piece and then turn around at the end when the person's ready to close and ask them for their merchant, you know, their uh, merchant statements. It's a good way to do it. Okay. So no, I noticed that. With, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, so just running through, you know, the numbers. You close five clients your first month, right? You sold them a a, a basic mobile website for $295. Uh, your cost is $4, by the way, for each of those, so 291 net. You sold, you know, four people, the basic package is $99, $39, that's $422. Just five clients your first 30 days already brought you in 2100 bucks, right? But who cares about that? The real value is the long-term growth of building up, you know, building up revenue. When one client you know, you charge $99, $39 per month, but 120 days later, he's got 1,500 people in his database. He's sending out three messages a month. That's 4,300 messages. He upgrades to the, you know, 119 or 129 or $149 a month package and whatever rates you're charging. And it includes uh, X amount of messages, but he's sending out 820 message overage at, at uh, 0.025. That's two and a half cents per text message. You're charging $139.50 for him. Your total cost, $3.50 for the client fee, 4,300 messages at a penny. That's $46.70. You're charging him $139 minus your cost. It's $96 per month of residual revenue. I like to, I like to say most people average about 65% net profit from their, from their packages. So obviously the lower amount that you're paying per text message the better off you are, right? So, mm -hmm. um, I keep hitting the wrong button. It keeps bringing up my email. So, if we go back and look at the packages, and you're talking about, um, you know, which which one? Obviously, less per client makes makes sense. Having more included makes sense. Uh, better text message rates makes sense. Let's look. Let's look deeper at, the, at what that looks like. Um, by the way, any tier one plans you only get one short code. Tier two plans you get two short codes. Tier three you get three short codes. So um, you get just that's more short codes, more options, right? Um, you get all the features in a tier two or through tier three. I forgot, tier one clients don't get access to any of the tools. So tier one, you don't get the mobile website builder. You don't get virtual punch cards. You don't get kiosks. You don't get virtual business cards. Just tier two and tier three. Um, tier two and three, you get one-on-one -on -one training. That's we will. Our team will meet with you, actually train you on a lot of this stuff. You get help tickets and phone support, which a lot of companies don't offer phone support. Um, you get white label training for resellers if you upgrade to the, to the organizational level. 60 plus PowerPoint presentations. Um, and then you get 10 example mobile sites in a tier two, 40 in a tier three. And and just the messaging rates are better, which that's where you really get into money because you know, let's say that we do have 250 clients and, you know, they're averaging, you know, databases of four, you know, they're averaging 12,000 messages a month. Let's say each of those clients, you're doing 3 million messages per month. Um, you're right in this category. You know, you're saving three tenths of a penny per message. That's nine thousand dollars a month that you save by being on the tier three. That's a lot of money. Nine thousand a month by being here. And by the way, our pricing relative to other people, if you're with us, you're gonna be paying about 
you're going to be saving about $9,000 a month at 3,000 messages because our text message pricing is so much better than everybody else. Adding email on is $15 a month, by the way. Just thought I'd throw that out there, but everybody adds it on because you got to have it. You got to have it for your own business. Just send emails to your own clients. Is it a cost to, to us or is it $15 charge to our customer? Uh, no, it's $15 a month to you for your plan. And that gives you access to send your own emails, right? And then that's the email rates starting at half a penny going down to less than the one tenth of a penny, which gives you room to be able to mark it up and make money. You know, we always say if you make two or three tenths of a penny per email, you're in, you're in good shape. And each email account that you sell to somebody else is, so let's say I usually do it like this. I say, okay, your text messaging account is, you know, starts at 50 bucks a month and includes a thousand messages. And if you want to do email as well, you can bring your email account over and you're probably going to save money because right now you're paying 35 bucks a month for AWeber or whatever you're paying. And they're like, yeah, they're like just bring your email database over. You can start using ours instead and we'll only charge you $10 a month to use the system plus, uh, you know, seven tenths of a penny per email. And based on how many you're sending, that'll save you about 15 bucks a month. And then they move their email system over and they're using you for email. And now you're making a little bit of money on email. We charge, we charge you $4 per email account and then X amount per email. And you charge them $10 a month per email account and X amount per email more than we charge you, right? So it's just another revenue stream. Make sense? Sure. So if I'm looking at this correctly, so you'll pay $15 per month. And then if you send in between one and 40,000 text messages, you'll pay uh, 0 0.055. So if I send 40,000 text messages at 0 .055, I'm roughly $220. So that, that would, when is that due? Is that due at the time of sending the email, or is that like at the end of the month? Yeah, we bill you in arrears, right? So we charge, you know, your setup fee in first month right now, 149 189 um, and then next month we'll charge you the 189 plus however many clients you have and however many text messages or emails you've sent. Okay, so in that in the, in the next month that $220 will be due along with any other fees that go outside of the the SMS text messaging that's allotted for the uh merchant. Say that one more time. All right. So it looks like you can have um, like X amount of SMS text messaging uh, right within your monthly plan. So if I, if we charge a merchant a package for ninety nine dollars, they'll get one thousand SMS text messaging, right? Yep. Okay. So if they went over that one thousand, those fees will be uh, charged next month along with the two hundred and twenty dollars for the. Uh, mass email that went out for 40,000 clients. Yes. So okay. we're charging, you're charging them whatever you charge them. And you can charge in advance, you can charge in arrears, whatever. But we just charge you in arrears. The following month we charge you for your usage. So we're pretty much fronting the, the, their uh, usage of the platform? So you're what? We're pretty much we're we're paying for their like so regardless if they pay or not we still pay for whatever they used on the platform is the SMS or the uh, yeah uh, okay yeah that's right I mean that's how it works I mean you know same thing if somebody steals stuff out of your store <laughs> right you paid for it to put it in your store um, you know the thing that I have found is that there's only one kind of customer that doesn't pay and you know who it is. It's the person that doesn't actually use it. Those are the people that quit paying. The people that use it, they see the money they're making off of it, and they want to keep using it, and they pay. Mm -hmm. The only people that ever quit are people that you're charging 99 bucks a month, 
and they never log in, never send any messages, don't have any databases, etc. So those people aren't costing you any money, right? They're costing you three dollars fifty cents a month. Okay. So for the setup fee, I see here that you have eighty nine, one forty nine, and then uh, a package for one ninety nine. Yes. So if we start off in the first tier and we decide to move up to the second, we'll pay one forty nine. And if we will move from the second tier to the third tier, we have to pay the one ninety nine. Yeah, you. Works? Yeah, I don't would think you, you would. would start at the tier one, you don't even get, you don't get access to virtual business cards, nothing. I mean, it, right. you know, for you guys, it would have to be tier two or tier three, I would think. So I'm just right. asking, no, no, how, I, how does it work with the setup we, fee? Is it, do you have to pay the setup fee when you move to different tiers is my question. Oh, yes, you do. Regardless if you start off at, like, so if we start at tier two and we decided 30 days later to say, hey, we need more. Uh, so we need to move to tier three. We have to pay the one ninety nine over again. Yes, so we have you to pay are. the set of fee over again. You're correct. Okay. All right. Some of the other questions I have um, for you. I wanted to know, all right, so you answered the customer service tech support. You said it's Monday through Friday, the normal business hours. Uh, I guess that's about eight, what, nine to five? Yeah, it's usually more like eight to 5.30 or six, but. Uh, is that Eastern? Oh. That's Central. We kind of, yeah, we kind of have people, we have multiple support staff, and they kind of work kind of when they show up to when they leave, which, you know, it kind of varies because they aren't all working at the same time. So, but but roughly 8.30 to 5 central. Okay. So reading on uh, this this, uh, this new opportunity to uh, work in this space, we realized that there may be some, like, uh, like uh, I guess, like legal policies that need to be in place, like stop now and all those sort of things that the FCC require. Yep, we because, handle like, all that. Okay, the cancellation we, policies. Yeah, we handle all of that for you, and you guys can add that stuff to your website or anything else that you want. Uh, you know, but we've got it all handled on our side. Okay, the uh, social media um, module that you have in your platform. Uh, what restrictions do uh, do you have? With are there any restrictions with the social media module? For example, like, can you send it to, uh, you know, there's so many social media uh, platforms out there. Yeah, uh, so. it's all it really is is a scheduler. So, you know, if I'm not in front of my computer, but I want to send post something on my Facebook page on Friday night, mm -hmm. then I can just schedule it to post for Friday night. That's all it is. It's just a scheduler. Okay. So, but that scheduler will post for you automatically, right? Um. All right. I'm sorry, somebody asked so, me. So, somebody so, else so if you asked. schedule it for Friday night, it'll automatically post to your Facebook page. Yes. Okay. So what about like the like Twitter and Instagram and those other social media platforms? We don't. We only do Twitter and Facebook. Okay. All right. So I noticed that you said you have. Um, you can get two short codes if you go into the second tier and three if you go into third. Can you explain how the short codes would work if you had, let's say, if we had like a 200 clients, they would all have to work on the same short code? Like, how would that work? Yeah, so uh, you've got like 200 clients. You could put some of them on one short code, some of them on another. That's entirely up to you. So would, would that, I mean, so if, if Wayne was selling, if we were clients of Wayne, we were using the same short code. Would my clients go to you or your um, – would our coupons kind of intersect or – No, they would not. Um, the uh, – so, yeah, so the way – you know, the way it works, everybody has their own login and password, right? So, you know, if you've got 200 clients, all 200 of those clients are going to show up right inside your My Accounts section. And oh. I just want to make sure that I'm clear. So if, if I was Pizza Bowlers and you were Domino's and we were clients of Wayne, 
Wayne signed us up, and we both work in on under Wayne and as as clients of Wayne. If if I have my clients send pizza to short code four four five six, and then you have the same short code and you put in uh, pizza, would would that how you could it work? Yeah, you would you would. Why would you text pizza unless they told you to, right? Okay, so we would pretty much have to manage that and say, hey. You yeah, you have to. I mean. Yeah, each client when they like if I try to go in to the marketing platform and I try to create a keyword mm -hmm. that is pizza and it's already taken on the short code six three nine seven five, all it does is tell me it's not available. Okay. So got it. and then you're they're obviously not gonna put up any posters that say text pizza to six three nine seven five if they haven't reserved that keyword. All right, got it. Okay. All right, so and uh, you didn't go through it, but I noticed that there was an API documentation link on your um, platform. Sure. Uh, what what kind of um, opportunities could we take on for um, API documentation? Well, we have a uh, an unbelievable JSON API that is very easy to use. It does everything that our application does. Um, you can send out, um, you know, you can schedule out messages, you can create hosted sign-up pages, you can do stuff with billing. Um, you know, there's all kinds of stuff that you can that you can do with it. Um, mostly, you know, people use our API, enterprise-level companies that have a CRM tool or a, uh, you know, their own application where they are dealing with thousands or millions of users and they need to be able to send them messages, but they don't, they're not going to log in to our application and send messages. They're going to okay. do that in the background. So they just use our API to send those messages and they can, you know, in it, they can do that very quickly, put that together very quickly. And, and you have great, you know, wholesale rates. So you can retail it. Let's say you've got a client that um, wants to send 2 million messages or maybe is sending 2 million messages a month. And, but they're using somebody like Twilio, who's one of the biggest providers in the space. Yeah. And at two million at two million messages, they're paying right now a penny apiece. Well, at two million you messages, you guys don't use Twilio. No, hell no. Oh, okay. So Twilio is like your competitor. Yes, exactly. Oh, okay. All right. Well, we have two so, platforms that, that that need to. So we can wholesale Wayne. We can we can show this to Jay. This is exactly what Jay was looking for. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. So, for example, like my 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 flower shop guy that has a software, yeah. who has two hundred people in his uh, platform, he can use an, an API that can integrate to his software, and we can. Uh, how would that work for us? Would we, there would be we would have the. Uh, I guess that would be the org structure. Org, org structure that would. They would but, work well, with us though, from the org level. Well, Potentially, if you needed to sell to somebody that was going to sell again, then you would be needing to create a reseller, and you would need an org level, right? Okay, and then they can build an API that would go yeah. through their software. Wow, okay. Yeah, I think that's all, that's all the questions that I have. Oh, no, the, um, uh, you teach the mobile marketing uh, certification. So if we have a new salesperson to come aboard, uh, will they also be certified and work through your certification as well? They can go through the certification courses. The challenge with bringing on salespeople is that inside your application, some of it is white labeled and some of it isn't. So, because when you log in as a master user, you can see reseller content, you can see accounts and settings. Inside reseller content, for instance, in the company setup videos, not all of these company setup videos are white labeled primarily because they're videos that are for you getting set up and started and we almost have to reference us. Yeah. However, inside reseller content, once you get into the mobile marketing training, the sales training, those are white labeled. And if you have an organizational level view, that allows people, and some people do it for this reason, that allows for you to create a reseller that only has, it's kind of like a training organization, it only has access to the stuff that's white labeled. And then they can let 
then they can set up users on that reseller that only has access to those items. And uh, then you can let them log in. When they logged in, you could say, go through the certification course. And when they were done with it, you could submit it over to us and we'd give them a certification. And they wouldn't even know it, right? Okay. Got it. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. So, but the, they'll get a certification with their name on it and things like that to make them feel proud and, hey, I got a certification. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's it for me, Wayne. I'm, uh, I, uh, no, I just have one one question, Rob. For for like Rena mentioned, for, you know, for additional sales rep that comes on, um, is 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 there a, a tracking system in place to track a, you know sales sales reps? For, you uh, know, we don't up in, up we don't in. have we don't have a I mean, we specialize in the in the stuff that businesses need to operate. Right, we haven't spent time in development of tracking systems of sales reps or whatever. We obviously do it for our own systems, but we do it, you know, through our QuickBooks programs and our accounting systems or whatever. So, um, no, okay. you would have to figure out how to, you know, track all that yourself. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, okay. That's something we're gonna have to figure out. Oh, it, it, the CRM we're looking at, it, it should be, we should be able to track it through the CRM. Oh, okay. All right. Yay. Okay, Rina, I think that's it for me. Okay. Uh, well, Rob, thank you f for the opportunity to go through your company's uh, presentation. Uh, I think that we are both really re impressed and uh what will be the next step? How do we uh, reach out to you and if we want to take this opportunity to move forward? Well, I certainly would hope you would. Um, we, uh, You just need to tell me which package you want, and I'll send you the agreement. The thing is, we can get you uh, boarded immediately. So you, you know, all I do is send you the link. You click it, put in your information, pay, right? And just put in your credit card information, pay. It's month to month anyway, right? Mm -hmm. and it instantly creates your account. Then we, in, you know, the following day, you do a boarding call with our team. They build your virtual business cards, build all your demos, all of that. Uh, you know, the, uh, um, and you're, you know, you're up and running, have virtual business cards, have demo apps on your phone, have everything that you need, and you can be out selling by Friday, right? So, it's really just you telling me which plan that you want. All right. And then, well, you know, and then we, and then thought, we set up to get used to it. I thought I asked you all the questions that I have to, that I, that I had, but I, you just mentioned um, uh, the V cards. So, it, are, are there any limitations on that? Can you are you restricted to a certain amount of V cards we can have? Um, you're so. If you look at the full pricing guide, there's some things that are itemized charges, but the only things that are, I can name them for you real quick. Per account, right? $3.50 on the, what, here, let me just pull it up and look at it again real quick. So, you, yeah. You can so, include that in the, can you send that in the email? I mean, you, I, I want you to discuss it. I can send this to you, yeah, but, okay. but, so it's like, you know, $3.50 per client, Four dollars per month per mobile site. Four dollars a month per email, right? Um, text messaging rates, and then per email, and then V cards are fifty cents per. And I don't know why it's not on this pricing guide. I just realized that it's not right there. I th thought it was. It used to be in our old one. It was right here. Um, that's it. Fifty cents. It's fifty cents per virtual business card. That's the only other itemized charge. So if Wayne and I got a virtual card, that would be a dollar. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yeah, yeah. But when you go and sell it to an, an organization, like I was just talking to a guy that works for a guy that has 250 sales reps, right? And you guys may know some merchant services companies that have hundreds of sales reps. You go and sell it to them for $3 a month per rep, right? And now each of those merchant services reps, they've got 300 sales reps. They're out there talking to five new business owners every day. Well, that's... 1,500 business owners going into a database every single day. I mean, 
a year from now, do you know what the value of that database would be worth? Having that many business owners' cell phone numbers in one database? Right? And you can charge them 3 or $4 a month, and your charge is $0.50 cents a month. All right, another question for you, Rob. Sorry, man, it just keep coming. So let's say if we went with a merchant service company that already have, let's say, thousands of uh, merchants that are working under them, right, or work, work using their yeah. service. The cu the customer or yeah, the customer will have to initiate the conversation for like you can't just take the phone numbers and put them in and start having them. I just add them to a data database. Can you do that, or do, does it have to be some sort of agreement up front? Yeah, they have to type their mobile number in a tablet or type their mobile number in your phone where the disclaimers are present, right, clear and unambiguous. Okay. And then they get a text message that says, hey, watch for more messages, up to four a month, reply help for help, or stop to end. They've got to have that compliant flow. When That's they right. opt in, they got to get a text message that confirms it. If they don't, get that text message, they've not opted in. You can't just take a database that you've got and upload it. That's illegal. Got it. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I, 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 I think we're, I think, uh, Wayne, are you, are you good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine so far. Yes, I'm fine so far. So, you know, so Rob, we'll, we'll, we'll probably talk about it, then you probably hear from us um, five, probably sometime tomorrow. Okay. You know, you can just sh shoot the uh, the email that you know you you, know, you were gonna shoot out to us and um with the with the pricing guide on it or whatever the pricing guide and the agreement right then we discuss it amongst ourselves and uh, and move forward. Okay, which agreement? Which one did you want? Um. Well, you know what? Let 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 let, let us talk about it. Rena and I talk about it. Then then if anything, um, we would we'll probably shoot you an email or some 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 okay. communication. Okay. I'll just send you the pr I'll send you the pricing guide for right now then. And right. you guys reply back with which agreement you want, and I'll send it to you. What's the yeah. difference in the agreements? I mean, obviously the the cost will be different, but is there anything else that's different from the agreement? No, nope, that's yeah, it. Yeah, some of the usage. Yeah, I mean, well, can you send it? Can you send this? Wayne, if, if it's okay with you, if you can send us tier one and I mean tier two and three. Yeah, tier yeah. two and tier three. Yes, I will okay. see what we are. Yep. I'll send those to you. Okay. All right, sounds good. All right, guys. Well, it was good talking right. to you. Thank you. Had, Thank a, you. had a fun time, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. All right, sounds good. Thank I'm you. I'm going to call you right back.